Hello and welcome to Tarot Arts Anjali. In today's pick a card reading, we're going to look at the energies in your life a year ahead. And remember, this is a timeless reading. So no matter when you watch this video, it's going to talk about one year from where you are right now. And also you can book a personal reading with me with all the details in the description. So with that, let's look at all the piles that we have. Pile number one, we have Wild Unknown Tarot. For pile number two, we have the Light Seer Tarot. And for pile number three, we have the Rider Weight Tarot. You can take a moment, pick your pile and all the timestamps are in the description below. And I'll see you in your reading. Hello and welcome to your reading pile number one. Today we're going to look at how the next year in your life is going to look like and remember this is a timeless reading so no matter when you get to watch this video this is going to talk about the next one year ahead. So I've already laid out your cards. The first card that we have for you is about the lessons that the previous year has taught you and what are the major lessons that you're carrying with you towards this new year. So the card that we have for you is the Fool card and this tells me that for, for a lot of you, pile number one, you might have started a new journey or you must have had a new beginning of your own. So it could be in terms of your career that maybe there is a path that you've chosen, you started walking down that path and the Fool energy is always about a new beginning where we seem a little uncertain where we're just starting out on our journey we're learning growing and evolving so if if that is what the past year of your life has looked like then this is just a guarantee for you that everything that the new beginning taught you everything that you learned from that phase of your life is something which is going to play a major role in your life in the year moving forward and with the fool card i also see that you have this spirit within you you have this energy this ambition where you can create all your desired outcomes and anything that you put your mind to i see you as someone who puts in all the efforts to get your desired outcome and then i also see you as someone who is not afraid to take risks because the fool card is often always about taking that leap of faith and things are a little uncertain we don't know what the path ahead might look like and yet with your own bravery with your own strength and courage you start that journey you start that path and i'm seeing that as such a strong strength for you and that is something this strength of yours is something that has really shaped the past year of your life so make sure that even in this new year even in this journey of the next year you keep sustaining this bravery and this courage and at any point you feel that you aren't able to do something or the challenge in front of you is too difficult just remind yourself of the moment where you faced a similar challenge in the past or remind yourself a moment in time whether this new beginning was something that has happened recently or something that happened quite a while back just remind yourself of when was that time when you didn't know anything at all where you didn't know what would be expected out of you or what are these efforts that you would have had to put in and even though you didn't know even though there was a lot of learning that you had to go through and with learning it's a curve right because in the beginning when we don't have enough resources the journey can be very difficult and I see that you have really taken on this beginning as a challenge and you're learning you either you might have already mastered whatever it is that you started off or you're still in that process of becoming an expert in whatever it is that you do so make sure that you keep sustaining this courage and this very strong energy that you have to take on tasks take on challenges the next card that we have for you is about what can you expect in the new year and the year ahead what are the themes that are going to be present for you and the card that we have for you is this moon card and this tells me that one major theme or one major experience that you're going to have in the next year forward is about reflecting on your journey so far and this is this very much relates to what i was saying with the fool card that there is a path that you've stepped into there is a sort of learning that you've experienced and in the next year you have to reflect on first of all what are the things that went well in the past year what are the things that maybe might not have gone too well and then learning from those experiences looking at what are these resources that you've gained and 
in what ways can you use your past lessons to make your journey forward a little bit easier for yourself and with the moon card because this talks about this the energy of the moon you know it it is this energy of how the moon keeps going in cycles in phases so even in any journey and especially if it's a new path a new journey that you have started there will be certain moments where things are going smooth and everything is in your favor but there might also be those low moments where maybe things are a bit challenging a bit difficult so with the moon card i see that one message that the spirit that the universe wants to give you for the year ahead is to keep this in balance and irrespective of whether you are at the low phase or at the high phase of your journey in this year ahead make sure that you are able to monitor and regulate your emotions you are able to understand that what are the moments where you know your emotions are experiencing a little bit of a low and what are the things that can support you in your journey and with the moon i also see it's also interesting that the very first two cards that have come up for you both of them are major arcana cards so one thing that i can definitely see here is that your journey the point that you are at right now is something that's very crucial for your personal development and even the evolution of your soul in your spiritual journey and the next year ahead irrespective of when you get to watch this video i can definitely sense that the next year is going to be full of a lot of learning and as in any journey not everything would be very smooth sailing so we have to go through even the rough patches as well but what i am called to remind you what the universe wants to tell you is that even if it is a bumpy ride at some of the points and you're not able to gain your own strength back or you're not able to remind yourself of you know what are these resources that you started off with what are your own strengths that can make you go through this journey so with that i'll go to the next card which is about a potential challenge or an obstacle that you might face in your path and with that we have the 10 of swords so it's interesting that as an obstacle we have a 10 of swords which you know as you can see there is a bit of a dark imagery here there is some sense of difficulty of tension and not exactly knowing what to do and i am seeing that something is coming to an end so take this message as it resonates it might be different things for all of you who have chosen this pile for some of you this could very much relate to the fool because right before a new beginning right before a new path right before you are in this energy of a zero which is limitless potential of new things starting so what i'm seeing here is maybe for some of you this beginning was it happened after this sort of a death or an ending took place so if it is about relationships it might talk about some significant relationship in your life that ended uh, or maybe the there is a person that you lost or a relationship that ended and if it is in terms of career it could mean that initially you had some idea of what you want to do but then those plans changed so you might have had to start from scratch all over again and that caused a little bit worry for you but you know irrespective of why this ending happened why this ten of swords moment happened i can definitely see that one empowering thing for you is to take a stand for what you believe in and i'm also getting a sense of you know especially because this card is about what what could be the challenge that you face so if if you're worried that there is something and i'm you know i'm getting a sense that no matter what this ending is maybe on some level you intuitively already know or maybe you already want to get rid of this energy so there are two situations here for some of you you might have experienced this ending in the past and now you are carrying that grief or that pain with you and that might affect your journey in the next year so if that is the case for you if this ending has already happened in the past year for you so then with the moon card i'm getting a message that this year or at least the first couple of months of the year forward is going to be about reflecting on this experience processing your emotions identifying if there is any help that you need to deal with these difficult emotions to deal with the sense of grief or loss that you've experienced and also for yourself finding out what are the ways in which you can make the year ahead for you a little bit easier and what might support and help you in that journey and the second situation that i'm seeing here is maybe 
there is a difficult energy that you're already carrying with you into this year forward and you intuitively know that this is something that you need to get rid of so it could be a relationship in your life that isn't helping you anymore and maybe the other person is not valuing you anymore and now you're questioning whether to continue with this connection or not so if you intuitively already know that something is coming to an end then this message might be for you that what is needed on your part is to have that faith and that courage to accept and acknowledge your own needs and knowing that you know your higher self your soul knows what is the best for you and sometimes it might feel that giving up on something ending something is going to be a hurtful process and even though there is pain involved with these endings it's also helpful to observe that you know is the pain of the ending is that going to be worse than the pain of continuing with this thing in your life that is just draining your energy and is not making you happy and not just in terms of relationships maybe even uh, it could relate for some of you it could relate to a career that a challenge or an obstacle that you're facing in the next year could be about there is whether it's a work situation, a boss, a colleague, or maybe the path as a whole, it might be causing a lot of stress for you, a lot of burnout. And it might even be that because of these difficult energies at work, even your own physical, emotional, spiritual health is being affected. So one major thing for you to focus on in the year forward is to reflect back on what is this thing that you need to let go of that you need to cut out from your life and for some of you it could even be about an unhealthy habit an unhealthy pattern that you've been following for quite a while so it could be maybe to do with procrastination that you know as i said that when it comes to beginning something you have this vision and this ambition and you have that strength to put everything into action but maybe something that might be holding you back from achieving your truest potentials could be that you know these energies of procrastinating or not being able to sustain that effort for too long so maybe in the beginning of the journey while you're at the stage of the beginning you could be very active but as time goes on maybe it's difficult for you to continue having that energy or for some of you this habit that you need to let go of could be about people pleasing that you're trying to please everyone around you you're trying to make sure that everyone around you is satisfied and made and obviously that is sometimes it can be helpful because it makes sure that the environment that you have around you is happy and everyone is calm and peaceful but it can take a negative turn when you are putting other people's needs above yours and you maybe to some extent even neglecting your own needs so that could be a habit that you have to let go of so spirit wants to wants to you know encourage you to reflect on what this might be that what is this unhealthy habit or pattern that i'm carrying with myself that i need to let go of and what is this new habit that i then need to adopt so that is something that might be helpful for you pile number one and with that we'll come to the next card which is about how can you what is what is the biggest strength that you have and how can you use that power to your best potential and for you we have the three of pentacles card so this card tells me that one strength that you have is i'm seeing two situations here one is about the people that you're surrounded with the support system that you have around you for for, for you pile number one it seems like the people around you are your greatest strength and if you reflect back on your journey so just look at the past year and ask yourself that who were these people who helped me a lot in the past year who were there for me no matter what I was going through so even in the year ahead if there are moments where you start to feel a little bit lonely or a little bit lost then remind yourself that there, there's definitely this support system around you this team around you that is going to help you and who who are going to be there for you no matter what you're experiencing no matter what journey that you're on and one more thing that i'm seeing here is especially with this specific three of pentacles card in this tarot deck maybe you know if you are actually lonely or you are lacking people around you who can help and support you and if you are in that situation then spirit is just trying to remind you that even if things seem like that right now that's not going to be the case forever you are going to find 
your own you know soul tribe your soul family who is going to be there for you who who is going to have the same values and visions as you and i am sensing that there are two situations here one is that you already have that support support system but you sometimes feel that you know you cannot bother them too much or you can't reach out to them for help so if that is that has been the case for you in the past year then remind yourself that you don't have to battle through these challenges these difficult moments by yourself and it's okay to ask for help it's okay to sometimes share your burdens with other people and especially these people who truly care for you and are going to be there for you and the second situation as i mentioned that if you lack these kinds of people in your life so just hold on for a while longer because in the next year i'm seeing that you are going to have this support system in your life and you're going to feel the sense of belongingness and finally with the three of pentacles i also get a sense that in your professional or your academic life as well you are going to have a team where there is a mentor or maybe a supervisor a leader a teacher someone in that capacity who is going to help you in your learning journey a lot so if you feel that one thing that you've been lacking and especially with the fool card so maybe if there's something new that you started for example a new academic program that you're doing a new job that you stepped into a new role that you've taken so whatever that new beginning might be in a professional sort of an environment if you feel that you feel a little bit untethered or you don't know what are the next steps ahead so one thing that i'm seeing for you is there is going to be you know i see these resourceful people around you these people who have more experience than you and they have all the right knowledge that you need all that you need to do on your part is to reach out to these people and before that you know just to identify that who are these people around you who are who are very resourceful and they can help you in your journey so at any point in the coming year if you feel lonely if you feel unsupported then just pause reflect remind yourself of who are these people around you that you can reach out to and if you still feel that you lack that support system then what are the ways in which you can find these kinds of people you can find the support that you need so if it has been an experience that you felt lonely in the past year i'm seeing that it's no longer going to be the case in the coming year forward and you will have pe- people around you the right kind of people around you who are going to help you so much in your journey in the next year and the next card that we have for you is the uh, an advice from spirit and something that is going to help you in your journey so for you we have the ace of wands and this tells me that one major blessing that is coming your way is with wands we see this shift we see this new form of a passion that is entering your life for some of you if you've been looking to travel either for study work or relocating for any other purpose or maybe there is a place that you already have in mind and you you've been asking whether you would be able to make that change or that shift or not so in that case the ace of wands is coming as a very positive sign for you that this is definitely a um, a blessing for you and this is definitely a situation that is going to be really helpful for you in your journey so make sure that if any such opportunity comes your way you are saying yes to it and you are following along on that path and the next card that we have for you is about a little bit of you know what what maybe could make this change a little bit easier for you and for that we have the 6 of cups so there are a couple of messages here with the 6 of cups so for some of you this change that is going to happen or this um this shift that is going to happen so either it could be something to do with maybe the, there is a your a childhood place or your hometown or something or maybe some place that you haven't visited in a long while but it is it has something to do with your past so you could be returning to that place or for some of you you know i'm getting a message there is a sense of returning to your roots so maybe your bond with your family is getting a bit stronger your family might guide you in this next part of the journey or maybe if you are someone who maybe has been living in another country or some place which is distant from where you you where you came from so in that sense i'm getting a feeling that maybe you might either relocate back to your own place or you might make a trip back home or something of that sort and that trip 
that time back home is going to energize you a little bit and for others this might be a completely different uh, thing that maybe you know as a child you always had a dream to visit a certain place or maybe you really felt very called to a specific place and now you are finally getting to make that move you're finally getting to travel to that place so if that is something that you've been thinking about then this is just a very big confirmation for you that you can use your resources and your skills in the coming year forward to make this shift possible for you to make this change possible for you and with that finally we have the biggest theme or your personal theme of the next year and for that we have the four of pentacles so this card tells me that you know four of pentacles is about holding on to our achievements for a little while holding on to what all have we gained and one major thing that i'm seeing here is a major theme for you in the coming year could be about so like um the like the main message here is that you are not going to be more on the spending side next year rather you're going to be more on the saving side so i'm seeing that you're slowly and gradually building up your wealth so a lot of you might be in the initial few stages of of establishing your own independence and stability and wealth and for others it could be that you earlier had a stable and a proper income and you had those financial resources that you needed but you made a change you made a decision in your life which led you to a different journey and now you are slowly and gradually building that wealth back again so this could be for you a message to say that for the next year slowly and gradually build your wealth again and be a bit mindful of how you're spending and not just in this is not just about finances because this is also about what area of your life are you spending your energy in and because we had the both three and the four of pentacles coming up here one thing that i'm seeing here is ask yourself with this ten of swords was there a specific situation connection or some circumstance in the past year where your it was maybe a little bit toxic for you it wasn't the best it wasn't the healthiest and now you're cutting that off from your life whether it's a connection where you were just pouring your love and energy into but the other person wasn't reciprocating or you know even in any other area of your life if you feel that you've been giving too much but not get getting enough in return or what you're getting in return just doesn't match up to the efforts that you have put in so now i'm seeing that one thing that you have to be careful about in the next year is to not overextend yourself and with this card i'm also getting so with this card i'm getting a sense of creating some form of healthy boundary around you and making sure that your own energy is protected no one else is stepping or crossing the boundaries that you've set up for yourself so make sure that you are careful about where you're spending your time and energy in the coming year and with that we'll come to the monology card that we have for you so pile number one for you we have adjustments are required the third quarter moon so this card tells me that this actually relates you know because we have these dark branches here and even this energy for some reason i'm seeing that you know as i was mentioning maybe intuitively you already know that moving into this year ahead there is something that you have to let go of something that just isn't working out anymore so this could be this card could be about what are the changes or the adjustments that you have to make and with this one big thing is about letting go so letting go could be a lesson that you're learning in the next year that you you cannot always change uh change the outcomes of a certain situation by just holding on to it too much sometimes holding on is more is actually more painful for you than letting go so i'm coming back to the example of a relationship again but take as uh, uh, however it applies in your life so for example if you are not willing to let go of a specific connection maybe because you don't want to you don't you've maybe invested a lot of your time and energy maybe it is a relationship that has gone for quite a long time and you feel that you you've loved this person a lot you've spent so much of your time energy and everything into this connection but it still isn't working out for you there is a lot of pain that the relationship is causing for you and you're still holding on to it so with this adjustments are required it could be about you know 
trying to understand for your own self that what is it that you need to let go of and why is it important to cut off this connection from your life and similarly if there is any other any other thing in your past any other oh, sorry any other situation in your life where you feel that there is you've given you've given so much of yourself into it you've poured your heart and soul into it and yet what you've gotten in return is just it doesn't match up to whatever you've spent and that that is exactly why you need to understand what could be this thing that you need to let go of what are these adjustments that are required so that could be a reflection for you in the year moving forward and with the third quarter moon you know it's about that there is something that's almost coming to a close or you're almost at the stage of success so this i'm seeing as an energy towards the middle or the latter half of the year ahead for you so here this could be talking about that you are very close to achieving success so don't give up right now don't give up just because it seems like success is too far away because it might happen you just change one or two things around and then it immediately makes everything so much more easier for you and you step so much closer to success so one main thing for you is to not give up and at the same time also knowing when to give up like what are the situations where you need to give up in the sense that you can't keep pouring your energies you can't keep overextending yourself just because you have this unrealistic hope that you know the outcomes are going to change so that is where you would also have to connect with your own intuition your own needs and expectations that till how much can i keep extending myself and at what point do i have to set this boundary for myself and make a decision for myself and protect my own energies and finally we also have an angel card for you the card that we have for you is acceptance so if you want maybe you could pause and take a screenshot of the card but this card mainly says that uh, this card is about unconditional love it's about you know how can you even even people who have hurt us obviously it we are going to feel upset and hurt about that but then to move on from a situation also requires acceptance so if there is something in your life that is just not helpful for you anymore so even accepting that situation for what it is and accepting that maybe it is time to let go of that thing of that situation and at the same time acceptance of also your own self so maybe you know it was you who made a certain decision about pouring your energy into something and as i said you had a lot of hope that the situation would work out and just because it hasn't happened in the way that you expected doesn't mean that you were wrong or you need to blame yourself for anything it just means that you know like we need to understand in some situations things just don't work out and that's how it is so we have to also forgive our own selves and we can't keep carrying the blame uh, with us for too long or we can't keep you know we can't keep blaming ourselves for choices that our past self made so be a bit compassionate even towards your past self towards any you know whether it is about something that you did that caused pain or hurt to someone else obviously you can ask for forgiveness you can try to do better but then a change will only take place once you accept yourself fully and completely without too much of a blame or this sort of a blame blame that doesn't just let you move on or to accept that situation and to move ahead in that journey and similarly if you feel that there is an action or a decision that you took which wasn't the best for you or it didn't it created maybe a lot of difficulties for you so even in that situation you need to understand that you can't keep carrying that blame for too long so for some of you this 10 of swords could actually also be about you know um that yes there was a difficult situation there was maybe an action you took maybe some path that you were on which led to this situation of a lot of this dark energy so maybe one thing that you're cutting off from your life could also be this excessive blame that you're carrying with yourself which is just hurting you more and more so reflect on that but overall i see that next year the year ahead is going to be full of so much learning so much growth for you so many 
even some changes taking place in your life a lot of reflection and finally i want to end this reading on a note of you are going to find the right people and the right kind of people that you want around you and they're going to be so loving and supportive towards you and not just that you know not just from connections outside but i'm also seeing that inwardly also you are beginning to love and accept yourself fully and completely and that is going to be a journey so make sure that you are setting these healthy boundaries whenever required you are recognizing that what are these situations where you need to protect your own energy so i'm sending you a lot of best wishes for the year ahead pile number one thank you so much for joining me for this reading don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment down below if you enjoyed the reading or if there's any other topic that you would like me to do a reading on and i'll see you in my next reading Bye bye hello and welcome to your reading pile number two in today's reading we're going to look at what are the energies in the next year of your life so this is a timeless reading no matter when you get to watch this it's going to talk about the year that lies ahead of you so the first card that we're going to start off with is the lessons that you have learned in the past year and the card that we have for you is nine of swords so this tells me that for some of you pile number two maybe the year before this or your year so far it was full of a lot of worries and challenges and there there were these sleepless nights that you had to go through and there was a lot of chaos and confusion in your path and that is could that could be something that right now you are in the process of moving on from or maybe some of you have gone through that difficult experience you've gone through the healing and now you are in a new chapter of your life so with the nine of swords i also see that for some of you it has been a difficult healing journey and maybe it could have also been lonely where you had to go through all of these challenges by yourself and you might not have had the right support system the right people around you who could have helped you and it could have felt a little bit lonely to go through all of these experiences but i can definitely see that this suffering this pain is not something that is going to carry forward and it's not going to last for too long because as the number nine says that it's almost coming to a close this difficult phase this difficult chapter of your life is almost ending and because of the imagery on this card i'm also seeing that spirit wants to remind you that even when there are the most difficult or challenging experiences that we go through even there like even with all of these uh, birds here we still have this white bird on top so you know reflect back on your experience in the past year and definitely if there is this pain suffering or this difficult experience that you've had to go through so accept those situations and also be compassionate towards yourself and remind yourself of your own strength that helped you pull through with this difficult situation but maybe also identify what this white bird in your situation could be maybe even when everything was going wrong maybe there was one thing that gave you support it could be a friend a family member a connection that you had in your life or maybe for some of you it could be a hobby of yours something creative maybe your work your career was something that gave you hope or it could even be something externally like maybe some artist that you're inspired by some celebrity or some work of art or whatever it is in this situation i'm seeing that even though it was a lonely journey but there was at least something that kept you going and i'm seeing that ray of hope as something that's going to carry forward in the journey of the next year as well the next card that we have for you is about what can you expect in the past year so if this is your experience so far so i'm seeing with the three of wands that you are looking in a new direction now you are almost you know like you can see the contrast in energies in both of these cards in one we have this person who is very worried and anxious and who almost it almost seems like a rock bottom card and in this in the three of wands we see this energy of finally taking charge of your life 
making a decision even if it seems a little bit risky to move into some sort of uncertainty some form of a new territory and that's what i'm seeing so there are a couple of different messages here for some of you this could be about leaving uh leaving some situation behind in your past and stepping into something new or it could be about actual travel moving to some place else relocation a new job a new place to work or study or maybe there is this um you've been a little in in your own worries for a little while and you were giving yourself the time to heal through things and when we go through that process sometimes it may, it becomes very difficult for us to take the actions that we need in our life at that moment and it's okay to go through these phases of having the only priority being your own mental health and having to deal with those situations and now i'm seeing that from this energy you're totally transforming into looking at the other side looking at the brighter side picking yourself up almost because we see here as this energy of really reaching rock bottom and now you're pulling yourself out of that and stepping into a new situation stepping into something that is going to be you know you're going to follow your passions you're going to create your own path ahead and you are going to stand up against all these challenges that are placed in your way so i see this as a very positive energy that is coming for you in the year ahead and the next card that we have for you is about a potential challenge or obstacle that you might have to face and for that we have the two of swords so this tells me that one potential challenge to overcome in the next year is a difficult decision that is thrown your way so maybe some of you could already be aware of what it is that you want to decide or you have to choose between but for others it could be something unexpected that comes your way and now you are made to decide whether to go this way or that and because we saw with the three of wands that there is a possibility of travel or some change happening in your life maybe there is a change that you're making and there are different choices that are in front of you and you're not able to decide what the right thing to choose there would be so here the guidance for you is that whenever we are stuck in that form of a decision making where we can't see a clear answer there we have to tap in with our emotions our intuitions we have to listen to this inner wisdom within us that will guide us in the right direction so have that faith in your own intuitive powers as well as the faith in the universe that it will guide you in the right direction so if you ever reach this point within the next year of having to make a crucial decision and then not knowing what choice to make so in that moment you have to first of all you have to silence these thoughts or these worries that might be looming over your head and sometimes the one thing that holds us back from making a decision is just the worry of the outcome so no matter what kind of a decision this is it could be something minor for some of you or for some of you it's a really life changing decision that you are making so don't get too worried by what the potential outcomes might be there remind yourself that everything will turn out in your favor eventually as you go through that journey through that path so don't be too attached to the outcomes know that it will work in your favor and don't let this worry be something that holds you back from making a decision and that's why we see the three of wands as the energy of the next year so there's definitely this fiery passionate energy of a change of something new happening and things taking a brighter turn so make sure that you don't deny yourself this opportunity for change because you too worried about making a decision for yourself so when the time comes to make a decision make sure that you're not letting your worries miss out on any opportunity for life to take a better turn and the next card that we have for you is about what what is this inner power that you have this strength within you that is going to make the journey ahead easier and the card that we have for you is 6 of pentacles So this card is all about generosity about things being in a flow about having the resources that we need so here i'm seeing a couple of different messages first of all you know don't hold yourself back from investing into things that you need or that you want once you 
invest into something that you know is going to help you in your journey that money will eventually flow back to you and for some of you you might benefit from looking into things such as charity or maybe volunteering some place offering your talents and skills and services to people who need and once you are in that in that position of giving that's when you'll open up your own energies to receive so much more blessings and one thing that i'm seeing you know if the year before this if that was full of a lot of struggles and not knowing what path to take and being a little worried so here i'm seeing that once you not just go through your own healing journey but then also help others in need that's when even your life will open up to so much more healing and to to invite even um more blossoming energies into your own life and i'm seeing that when you yourself enter into this phase of giving of helping others in need that's when that help that support is going to be going to come back to you and for some of you this could even be about maybe you are in a profession or in a career that involves helping others in some capacity or it could be working with a specific population or certain kind of people who are less resourced and you are helping them out a lot and the universe will see your intentions your efforts the actions that you've taken and it will give back to you many many times so if it is support that you're seeking maybe you know as as i said with the nine of swords if this has been a lonely and a worrisome journey then see in what ways can you be there for other people and help them and you'll find that support back or maybe if financially things have been a little bit difficult or things have been lacking then find ways in which how can you develop your own abundance mindset where if there are certain resources that you can share with other people or if you can maybe if it's just your time your energy your efforts and being there for someone who needs you and once you do that you will see that your own life opens up to a lot of this blessing and everything is going to be in a flow but the, the main strength that i see in you is i see you as being someone who's already very generous and compassionate and you might be someone pile number 2 who gets your own joy and peace out of helping others so make sure that one thing that can pull you out of this difficult moment is using this power this strength of yours better that you know i feel you as someone who you you create a healing atmosphere around you anyone who is in need of help you might be the one in your family or in your friend circle that people come to for advice and you are very generous you are there for the people who need you and i'm seeing that if for a while if you've been out of touch with that energy of yours so now is the time to connect back with that and as you slowly and gradually do that you will realize that that help and that support is coming back in your own life many many times so the next card that we have for you is what is an advice that you can use or a learning that you've had from the past year that that is going to help you and support you in your journey and for that we have the king of wands so it's very interesting that we have this uh first we had the three of wands and then the king of wands so one thing i can definitely confirm is the next year as a whole is going to be full of a lot of changes in your life you are changing things and you're not letting things be as they have remained you are taking a more active charge of your life you're taking a risk you're stepping into something new you are finally doing the things that you want and not just not just the things that you are expected to do and whenever this change is required or whenever this change is happening in our lives it requires a lot of courage and strength because with this card we see the imagery of a lion here so what i'm called to tell you is that the spirit the universe they really want you to tap in to this strength that you have within you and to remind yourself that all this healing um and or even all this difficulty that you've experienced is in the past now and now you are much more empowered you have a lot of resources and help to get out of this situation and to create the best outcomes for yourself so don't let any external situation hold you back you have all the power to shape your outcomes and to lead your life in the direction that you desire and with the king of wands i'm also seeing that maybe some of you could be stepping into a bit of a leadership position you could be 
supervising others, helping others in need, as I mentioned, or maybe there's a project or an idea that you're starting off and you are going to be in a position of, you know, that leadership role I'm seeing very strongly for you. And for some of you, this could be about you have these ideas and passions that you want to want to put into action. So here, this could be about you're finally, you know, when we have these ideas, but then we're going through our own pain, our own suffering. So there are even these visions that we have, we're not able to act on those and we're not able to direct our energies and our efforts in the way that we desire. And now that you have gone through that journey, you've experienced that difficult, that difficult, those difficult emotions. Now you're taking more of a control and now is the best time this next year i'm seeing as a whole is going to be very prosperous for you to finally put all your plans into action and to i'm seeing you becoming a director of your own life that you are directing what moves am i making next where am i headed to next what are these things that i'm going to pour my energy into and you know you can yourself see the contrast in energies from the past year of nine of swords of feeling very hurt betrayed and reaching rock bottom to this king of wands energy where everything is in your control you are taking a more active charge of your own life with that we'll go to the next card which talks about one guidance or advice from spirit that might help you on the journey so with that we have the five of wands and this tells me first of all to have a sense of balance you know now that you are moving away from this energy of a little phase of being bogged down being hurt being betrayed and maybe also for some of you the past year was not quite as productive as you had desired and now you have made a change in your life to step into a new direction even money is flowing through you it's coming to you you are helping those in needs and it's just increasing in abundance and you are becoming a leader you are becoming this very empowered person who can direct your own life but when we enter into this very active energy, it can create a tendency within us to want more and more and to stretch ourselves in too many directions. And that is an advice that I'm seeing from spirit that be balanced in your plans and in your ambitions. Make sure that any goal that you're setting for yourself, it should be realistic. It should be something that is achievable and not something that is just going to leave you even more stressed at the end of it so just take this message as a gentle guidance from universe to tell you that you all your dreams will come true everything that you want to achieve is already yours and you are going to get all of that but then ask yourself if you would even be able to enjoy it fully if you're so stressed out and burnt out at the end of the day so and it's quite interesting because we have both of these fire energies here the three of wands and the five of wands so with the three of wands i see that a fire is being lit you are starting your journey in a particular direction but to keep that flame sustained to keep that energy sustained that will only happen when you are balancing and there, there is some form of harmony in the efforts that you are putting in and you know i'm seeing that some of you might have a tendency to take on too much on yourself whether it is responsibilities at work or maybe you you have certain ideas there are goals that you want to achieve and you might take on too much too much of a responsibility too much burden on your head and that might again you know to prevent yourself from once again reaching to this position of the nine of wands you have to learn how to balance things a little bit better knowing and that's especially coming with the two of swords here maybe for some of you there when you come to this position of making a decision between two things some of you might have a tendency to take on both things at once maybe there is a job opportunity and at the same time you're pursuing something else or maybe you have different multiple sources of income and you are doing a lot of things and maybe there is a point where, where you know you are faced with this decision as we saw in the obstacle card that there are two parts, parts and you don't know which decision to make and maybe the 
instant impulse that comes from within for you could be to take on both things and while you know it's not to deny that you don't have the capabilities to achieve those but then is it really worth it to go through that process where you're just so stressed and burnt out and you are working towards something but then you have barely any time left for your own self so just have that sense of balance when it comes to the year ahead and all these goals and visions and plans that you have in mind and with that we'll come to the final overall theme that we have for you and this is such a beautiful card to come for you the chariot because this tells me that like you yourself can see the drastic contrast in the past energies to what the overall theme is going to be here we see nothing is working out we've just you know i see this a lot of worry i see this sense of just being so dejected and heartbroken and from that you're completely turning your life around into this energy of marching forward and as i was saying earlier taking entire control of your life being the director of where which direction your life is heading into and i'm seeing so much of a uh, like if you see who you know if your future self from one year uh in the future could speak to you right now you might not even recognize your own self from the year ahead because that's how much of a change that you're going through and even with this card i see this energy of the white and the black horse so again there is a sense of balance that you need and make sure that yes your will your determination your ambition is something that's already very strong and it's going to give you all the results that you want but make sure that in your in that process you are also reflecting on self care you are making sure you're paying enough attention to your own physical health emotional health spiritual health taking enough bre- breaks in this journey not not entering a phase where it's just work mode and you have no time to take care of yourself but overall you know with the chariot i see that any goal that you have in mind you are someone who has all the capacity to achieve that and cancer could be a significant sign so if you are a cancer sign then this is just a confirmation or the cancer season could be significant so take this message if it rose- resonates but overall it is about being fully in control of you know you are choosing your outcomes and you are like you cho- you're choosing a certain direction for yourself you're working in that direction and then you're getting all your desired results and with that we'll move to the moon card that we have for you the card that we have is be bold and make the first move which is the cardinal moon and again this card is about um i i see this card as being representative of what's happening in this three of wands situation you know you are finally taking charge of the situation and there is a change that is happening in your life i see with all this fire energy present here i'm seeing that there is a drastic change that is about to enter your life and it's not something that's going to happen automatically rather you would have to make an active decision an active choice to and i see that emphasis on choice a lot because i see that the the utmost amount of success is already yours it's guaranteed but all you have to do is to make that choice for that for that to happen and if you make that choice things might be a little uncertain in the beginning it might be a little you know you you might enter a phase of not knowing what to do or as i was saying earlier you might take on too many responsibilities and you might not know what are the things that i can let go of and what what are the things that i should continue with so with this the two of swords the obstacle that you are facing so you know for some of you this the first move the bold move that this card is talking about could be related to making a move to end something whereas for others this move is about um following your heart and moving in the direction that you want but a caution that comes with this card is to not be too restless or don't be too hasty with the decisions that you are making and again some um it's interesting that we have the cardinal moon because the cardinal signs of uh, astrology or of the zodiac are aries cancer libra and capricorn so if you have any of these four signs as your sun moon or rising then this can just be further 
confirmation that these are the energies that are coming your way and you know the cardinal signs are also um we have all these elements within us and these are signs which are which which tend to be natural leaders so what exactly i was saying with the king of wands entering into a position of leadership of taking charge and with this card and affirmation that comes or something that you can remind yourself is that i am taking charge of my destiny and that is something that's present throughout your reading with the chariot with the king of wands and even with the cardinal moon if you know if you are currently in this energy where nothing seems to be working out or if you've recently moved away from this energy and into a healing energy of contemplating change so take a little moment of reflection and then be bold make that decision move into something that you know is going to help you and then truly take charge of your life ahead and the next year as a whole is just going to be about you tapping into your own power of being fully in control of your destiny and with that we'll come to the final card that we have for you and it's so beautiful that for you we have the abundance cards maybe if you want you could pause and take a screenshot if you want to read this later but the abundance card as a whole it talks about a time in your life where there is going to be a lot of flow a lot of prosperity and again as i was saying you know with this six of pentacles that even in the moments when we don't have much if you can still be in an abundant mindset even then being happy with what you have honoring what you have being grateful of what you have in that moment and even out of that giving a little portion away to those who might need or just using your resources to help others that's when you're going to create that sense of flow for your own self because even when it when we talk about law of attraction or manifestation even when you want to attract a more you know higher level of abundance for yourself that will not take place if you're constantly unhappy about your current situation because then you will send out those same energies of unhappiness and this lack mindset back to the universe and then you won't be getting your desired abundance but at the same time if you switch your mentality and you think you express your gratitude towards what you have right now that's when you are setting yourself up more for even more of this abundance to enter your life and also remember this saying that it's only by giving that you receive and that is also a message that we see here so in this next year try to practice gratitude a little bit more try to see in what ways can you help others can you use your resources in a better manner and finally this affirmation that might help you which you can even comment below to affirm for yourself it says i deserve love prosperity and success so this is just a big confirmation for you that the year ahead is going to be full of so much love prosperity and success for you so with that i send you all the best wishes by number two thank you so much for joining me for this reading and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post regular pick a card readings you can check out my other readings on my channel and i'll see you in my next reading Bye bye hello and welcome to your reading pile number three we're going to look at what the next year is in your life is going to look like and this is a timeless reading so no matter when you watch it talks about the year from the point that you watch this video so the first lesson that we have the first card the lesson that you have learned from the past year for that we have the seven of swords so this tells me that one difficult experience or one thing difficult that you experienced in the past year was people not being the most honest to you or maybe there were people who didn't have the best intentions in mind so you could have maybe invested in a particular connection with someone and that person ended up hurting or betraying you or it could even have something to do with you made a certain decision where you weren't fully aware of all of the factors around and then it led to this period of you know like it, it made you feel as if you were blindsided somehow you were wronged in some ways people didn't have the best intentions in mind or it could even have something to do with a particular situation for example you thought 
that something would turn out in this manner and that is why you invested all your time energy and maybe some of you you made an actual investment in, in terms of money towards that thing and on the surface or initially it felt really appealing but then when you actually went through that path it made you realize that maybe it wasn't the best decision and maybe there was some deception in that situation something hidden that you hadn't fully accounted for or if for some of you if this has something to do with um i'm seeing maybe you made a bit of an impulsive decision and you were dishonest to yourself so maybe you thought that you had all the like you had all the possible information that you needed about that situation and you convinced yourself that a certain path a certain decision is going to be the best for you but the way it all panned out the way everything happened it didn't go in the way that you had thought and that made you realize that okay perhaps i didn't have all the information and it could have been a bit of an impulsive decision so i'm seeing dishonesty on some level either it could be you being dishonest to yourself or you convincing yourself that some decision some situation was the best for you even though intuitively you had a feeling that maybe it wasn't for the best or it could be something to do with someone else who has hurt you who has caused you pain or someone who hid something from you kept away some information from you who, were, who was lying to you and maybe even in that situation you intuitively knew that this person is hiding something from me and yet you decided to trust that person trust that situation and that is a lesson that now you're learning now you're learning how to know and discern what people what kind of people can you trust what kind of a situation is something where you need to look at all the factors before making a decision and also you're getting a better understanding of knowing when there is a deception involved in some level and that is a strength that you're going to now carry forward in the next year ahead so now look at let's look at what lies at the horizon what are the changes that might come in the next year and for you we have the 10 of wands so this tells me that there is maybe some unnecessary burden that you're carrying on yourself and with this 10 card we see that it's almost the end of the journey you are almost at a point where you can let go of the, these burdens that you have been carrying for so long so for example i'm seeing a couple of different situations so take these messages as they resonate and also this is a reading for the collective so it might be that some messages don't apply for you so the couple of situations that i'm seeing here are first of all you know maybe there you have been in a connection where you were the only one putting in all the efforts and the other person just didn't reciprocate that energy or maybe they were even deceiving you in some ways or they didn't have the right intentions in mind and you have been carrying along this energy all along so now it's time for you to finally let go of that energy to finally let go of whatever it is that isn't serving you anymore that isn't in your best interest so it's time to let go of that thing of that situation of that person and for some of you i'm seeing that this could be about an unnecessary burden in terms of you know there is so much that you have taken up on yourself like you have you have decided that there is whether it's about pleasing other people making sure that everyone else is fine or making certain choices or decisions so that other people don't get hurt and you've been doing that for quite a while now and initially that could have you know kept you happy seeing that at least other people were happy and satisfied but now you're realizing that that way of being is not helping you anymore is not supporting you anymore and that's why i i do see this 10 of wands as a major blessing that now you're learning that all these burdens are not to carry it's not your responsibility to keep everyone pleased and if you feel that there is something that you need to cut off from your life so obviously it will be a little bit painful because you've been carrying this for so long but then when you actually go through that experience you will be so relieved that you let go of that and you'll feel so free and you you will you'll feel that you know you could have done this so much earlier you didn't have to carry this for so long and i'm seeing that in the next year your energies are going to open up so much more that once you 
leave behind whatever was wrong for you that's when you are opening up your energies to accept these blessings that are actually meant for you and we'll see what these might be but before that let's look at what could be a potential challenge or an obstacle in the year ahead that you need to be aware of so with that we have the nine of cups and it's interesting because this is typically a positive sign about emotional fulfillment about getting your wishes answered and your dreams fulfilled but the nine of cups coming as an obstacle i'm seeing that if you feel that um in a certain situation you feel that okay this is exactly what i had wished for and there is something that seems too good to be true and now you feel okay i can finally trust this person i can trust this situation so there remember this lesson that you have learned in the past year to be a little bit careful and not to say that you know you have you cannot trust anyone at all and you have to be always suspicious of people or suspicious of other situations that everything is meant to hurt me and things like that so not to say that that's the kind of mentality you need to have but at the same time also knowing that you can't be too open and too vulnerable because if if you are in that energy then other people might take that for granted or it might open open you up for other people misusing your energies or taking your efforts for granted because you know as i said with the 10 of wands that you are someone who really like you would take all the burden on yourself and for some of you i'm seeing a bit of a message about family so if within families if you are the one who always takes up the responsibility to resolve conflicts or a lot of these like responsibilities just somehow land upon your shoulders so now it might also be time to set healthier boundaries and i'm also seeing that one potential thing to be aware of is the offers that are coming for you in the next year so it might happen that a particular offer whether that is in terms of your career or even in terms of a relationship about some connection entering your life in the moment on the surface it might seem appealing it might seem as this is exactly what i wanted but there the message for you the, there is a need for caution that don't take any impulsive decision don't say yes to anything immediately just because you feel that you know this is what i've been wishing for because as i said in the past there have been certain situations where an idea a path a situation seemed appealing on the surface and you decided to go ahead with it but then later you realize that maybe i didn't have all the information or i didn't have an accurate perception of how things might turn out and that is a caution don't forget this lesson in the next year as well in the coming year remind yourself of this particular example if you have where you thought a thing or situation something would turn out in some specific way but it didn't go that way so before you say yes to something before you invest your time effort and energy into something else just be sure that that is going to be something that actually keeps you happy and keeps you fulfilled because you know with the nine of cups even though it seems as if it's all fulfilling and everything is in our favor but if you see the person is actually sitting on a wooden bench and there is not enough support and this posture also feels a bit uncomfortable so it seems like this situation this whatever thing you might say yes to might keep you happy or fulfilled for the short term but it might not be the best for you to stay in that situation for longer so the main message the main lesson from universe for you is to know first of all when to walk away from a situation when to know that a certain thing is not your responsibility or not your burden to carry and don't say yes to anything immediately just because it seems shiny on the surface so i'm getting this you know the, the saying that not everything that glitters is gold so being a bit cautious knowing how to preserve your energies that is a major message a major blessing a major learning that's happening for you in the next year and now look at what is this strength or power within you that's going to help you in the next year so we have this very bright positive energy with the star which tells me that you are someone who have a lot of hope within you and that faith that hope within you is what keeps you going is what pulls you through even the most difficult situations and with hope there is you know 
hope is such a tricky thing to deal with to navigate with because in some situations it makes us keep going and it makes us keep putting in efforts till we're finally at a point where we get all we want and things turn around in our favor but at the same time when that hope is not based on something substantial it can lead us astray because if we are putting excessive hope into a situation which intuitively we know is not the best for us or we or maybe the hope blinds us into thinking that we can change the outcome so in those situations hope can be a little bit tricky and the message for you here is to i'm getting so much of an emphasis on your own discernment in the next year knowing who to trust knowing what situation requires your effort in what situations can your hope and your efforts actually change the outcomes versus what are these situations where you need to be a little bit careful and even as you see on the star card we have one foot in water and one foot on the ground and this is always about yes being in touch with your emotions being in touch with what feels emotionally fulfilling for you as i said with the nine of cups maybe there is an uh, emotionally fulfilling opportunity something that comes your way so have one foot dipped in that but at the same time have one foot on the ground which means that you need to still have that touch with reality with practicality and knowing that just your hope alone cannot fully transform a situation especially when it involves someone else's energies and attention so just be a bit careful but as a strength for you on your level i'm seeing that you are someone who can manifest the outcomes that you want in your life and you know the reason why you are someone who keeps carrying these burdens or responsibilities is because maybe in the past your efforts have actually changed situations you have in the past turned like everything that you know like those two sayings that i was saying, like one saying is not everything that glitters is gold but at the same time on your energy your strength i'm seeing that everything that you touch it turns into gold so how can you navigate both of these energies how can you have a balance of knowing that you are someone who has the power to turn even the most unfavorable situation around in your favor but at the same time also knowing that when is it not your place to do that when and i'm seeing this strongly in terms of connections because we feel that just with our love and our efforts we can fix other people we can heal other people and obviously to some extent that is true because with support with supportive connections it can be play such a such an immense role in someone else's healing journey but at the same time even that person has to do their own inner work they have to go through the, their own challenges and their own healings and you might not be able to control the outcomes of for that person's healing journey so knowing when you can pour in your love and effort when you can you know with these cups when you can pour into the situation and try to make things better but at the same time also knowing when the burdens are not yours to carry and it's not your responsibility anymore and there's never a clear answer to this because you might ask then how can i know when you know it's time for me to stop pouring and then to walk away from that and even for that i can't give you a clear answer that in this situation you have to let go and in that you can't because that's where your own intuition your own inner wisdom is going to play a huge role so whenever you are faced with that challenge or with that decision make sure to give yourself some moment to tap into your intuition but then also see the reality in front of you that can i really continue pouring my energy into this situation and with that we'll go to your next card which is about what what are the lessons that you've learned and what advice do we have from that situation so for you we have the four the four of swords card sorry so this tells me that now you have to go through a little bit of a period of rest of meditation contemplation and not taking too many actions so maybe if you are currently in a relationship with someone who is going through their own healing journey and maybe because of that person's pain maybe because of what they are going through maybe they that's not their intention but maybe because of their own suffering they have unintentionally caused harm for you or maybe you have overextended yourself to be there for someone else and it has just caused you pain so now at least for a little while from when you get to watch this reading till at least a while from now make sure that you are 
reserving your own energies you are reminding yourself to take a little bit of a pause and you know with this card i see that hold your cups for a little while stop pouring for just a little while and then see that was this connection going and sustaining just because you know was there an actual like some actual substance actual matter to that connection or was that connection going on just because you were pouring your effort and energy into it and similarly if in any other situation in any other aspect of your life if you feel that you have been putting way too much of your own efforts and what you are getting in return is not equal to the efforts that you're pouring in or maybe in some situations the other party at the end the other energy it's just draining you further and not helping you at all so you might benefit from a little bit of a rest of a pause in your life and knowing when to hold back knowing when to stop knowing when to withdraw your energies and i feel that you are going to benefit a lot from this little period of rest and with that we'll go to the next card which talks about what is the how to navigate the year ahead and what are these blessings that are coming your way the guidance you need and for you we have the six of cups and it's very interesting that we have these cups energy this water strong water energy so you might be a water sign or it might even just be talking about that Im the the emotional aspect of yours is going to be a very significant part of the next year ahead but with the six of cups spe specifically i see that once you you know like take this message as it resonates but once you decide that i'm no longer going to carry this burden i'm no longer going to unnecessarily put my efforts into a situation that is just not sustaining me anymore that's when you're going to open up your life for this blessing to come into your path which is this very beautiful reciprocal connection where and you know like this card is so beautiful because with the cups we also have these flowers blossoming inside each of these cups and this tells me that once you learn when to withdraw your energy that's when you're going to open up your life for this mutual connection where there is this give and take that's happening and you are truly like this is what speaks true happiness and connection for me and not this situation which came as the obstacle or the challenge card that seemed only only temporarily um like there was just temporary relief or blessings there but this six of cups is the actual situation so for some of you it might be that maybe a connection or relationship that you are in right now is not the best for you and this might not apply for anyone uh, everyone in this pile but maybe for some of you a person from your past could be returning maybe someone that you knew from childhood or back from your hometown something of that sort or for others it could be that you are returning to a place that you used to live in uh, in the past or maybe a city a town a country that you visited in the past now you're going back or for some of you it can actually even be about a connection from your past lifetime and you know i'm getting this sense that maybe on some level you've already known that there is this person out there for me or you feel the strong connection with someone and it doesn't have to be a romantic connection for all of you it could just be a soulmate who is a friend who is a mentor a guide in your life but for others if you are single and if you have been looking for a connection and if you've been having dreams specifically with this card i also th think about receiving messages in dreams because once you give yourself enough time for your mind to calm down that's when you become more receptive of getting signs through subconscious means such as your dreams so you might be dreaming about a specific person if it's a person from your past it could be that the person is returning you might uh, there might be some rekindling of passions with that person or for some of you it could be that you have very vague dreams about a specific person or situation or something that you can't quite put your uh, mind to that what exactly is that thing so that could have something to do with your past life that you are getting this sense that this person this situation is very close to you you're almost about to touch that you're almost about to receive those blessings so to get a better idea of that you have to give yourself enough rest and to clear your mind enough and with the six of cups i'm just getting this very strong positive sense of a lot of emotional fulfillment that is coming your way and no longer 
uh, a situation where you are the only one putting in efforts rather there is this reciprocity this mutual love and abundance and prosperity that i'm seeing and with that let's go to the final tarot card about what is the overall theme that's going to be for the next year and we have the three of swords so don't click off the video yet i know that this can seem like a very difficult and a challenging card but to see that as coming as the central energy tells me that your emotional healing healing your heart from the wounds especially the wounds that have been caused by other people's actions other people's betrayal towards you is going to be a major theme and this can be quite empowering because you're finally getting over that pain you are experiencing that emotional healing for yourself and you're also coming out of this situation very victorious you are understanding what is it that you need to let go of in your life what are these energies that you need to let go of and because we saw with the six of cups here that once you put these wands down once you refuse to carry what's no longer yours once you refuse to carry and you know for some of you this burden that you're carrying could just be about hurt that you are carrying that someone else hurt you and it might have either happened recently for some of you or quite a while back and maybe that pain that hurt was so strong that it hasn't allowed you to move on from it and now you're just in this period of confusion and not knowing not understanding how exactly to move on so be a little patient with yourself be a little gentle and compassionate with yourself when it comes to this healing and maybe meditation can be a practice that actually helps you pile number three and know that you know with the with the glass painted windows in this car there is also a sense that you ha you are divinely protected and guide guided there is protection around you and you are not alone in this journey and overall the three of hearts coming as the central theme of your next year ahead tells me that once you go through this little difficult period of moving on or dealing with heartbreak and it doesn't always have to be romantic heartbreak in other situations also whether it's family connections friendships some heartbreak in your career or your professional life or in whatever situation this has been for you i'm seeing that you are really coming out of this situation you are dealing with this pain and also putting this pain to like almost transforming this difficult energy into something something difficult something different something that's very healing for you something that and you know like sometimes we feel that moving on means that we just completely get over that experience and it's not about that rather it's about how do we carry the scars and the pain from that difficult experience and we shape that into something else and we honor those experiences because even these difficult things they make us who we are and as you carry them with you so like take this message with you know like try to understand this a little bit that we don't have to carry the immense pain that the situation has caused that that's something to let go of or to leave behind but what we continue to carry with us is the experience maybe even the memories or maybe if there were any positive memories in that situation not from a point of view of forgiving that situation that person but just knowing that even that helped us experience certain things and then carrying this heartbreak or this pain almost as a badge of honor for yourself that you went through that experience and then you emerged out of it and now you are this person who is a little bit more resilient and that resilience of yours is something that's coming across very strongly in this uh, reading pile number three but that will come to the moonology card that we have for you and for you the card is communication is key new moon in gemini so i'm seeing a couple of things here with um the new moon in gemini so maybe for some of you after all this experience of heartbreak and pain and dealing with this change you might finally encounter you know um i'm seeing this new moon in gemini talking about the six of cups card because once you've gone through all of this experience you've opened up for new energies that's when you might um have this connection with someone that instantly makes you feel that okay maybe this is what i've been wishing for so long and this is what i want in my life but for this too i see this still at a stage of friendship and getting to know someone spending time with someone and if you feel that gradually you would start developing feelings for this person but then this heartbreak from the past is so strong that 
you are not able to fully move on or let go from uh, let go of this experience to step into a new connection or a new energy and that will only happen first of all the communication i also see as um you communicating with your own self first like sitting down with yourself and seeing how you feel about the situation where are you at in your journey and then also letting your feelings be known to this person who might enter your life and i see that once you go through this experience you will have such a blossoming connection with that person and it doesn't mean that the heartbreak from the past never bothers you again ever it just means that now you are becoming more open to let both these emotions exist at the same time you can experience love towards someone else and those deep feelings towards someone while also in some corner of your heart carrying the pain that you have experienced in the past and even though all of this has been a lot about heartbreak for some of you i'm seeing that it it's it could also speak of your journey in terms of things that haven't worked out so the heartbreak that we carry about a past version of ourselves so so for some of you this might not even involve any other person in the reading rather just who you were in the past the decisions that you made and now you're forgiving your own self you're carrying the the pain of just growing up and maturing and maybe the decisions that you made in the past and now you're becoming more compassionate towards yourself and now you're opening up to this beautiful energy of welcoming new beginnings in your life and let's look at the final card that we have for you with the the angel affirmation card so maybe if you want you could um pause for a bit take a screenshot if that helps you but with this card with the opportunity it tells me that definitely a new opportunity is entering your life and things are going to be in a state of flow and right now whatever pain that you're going through it's just to make you experience certain things so that you can go through that path and then eventually open yourself up for this new opportunity to come in and when that comes and for a lot of you pile number 3 i'm seeing that this could have something to do with a person that is entering your life that person could be an opportunity for you to experience actual healthy connections where you feel loved where even the other person puts in as much effort for you as you do for them and this opportunity will only come for you when you have quieted your own mind when you have silenced these excessive thoughts of worry that might be holding you back and once you do that once you allow yourself to experience this inner calm and this inner peace that's when this person this opportunity might enter your life so is it could be a connection or it could be an actual opportunity about some form of, of an offering some some new opportunity for you to make your life go in a different direction and make sure that you do your best to allow that opportunity to enter your life and the angel affirmation that we have for you is i am ready for all opportunities so just saying this to yourself might help you and might help you attract this opportunity faster in your life so with that i'm going to end your reading pile number 3 i'm sending you all the best wishes for whatever this difficult experience has been and there is a lot of healing on the other side of this situation and i'm sending you all the best wishes thank you so much for joining me and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post regular pick a card readings which you can find on my channel and if you want to book a personal reading with me all the details are in the description and i'll see you in my next reading bye bye